At 184 pounds, that's Josh Greenspan, the junior from Cleveland State University, a transfer from Indiana. He was 10 and, he's 10 and 5 this year. He'll be up against Nick Magistrelli from Kent State. He's 14 and 3 already this year. He's a redshirt junior. Both boys from the local Cleveland area. Greenspan wrestled with Shaker, Magistrelli at Maple Heights. And I wonder if these boys even wrestled in high school. Nice little shot there by Magistrelli. Got it lifted high, nice. There's your two. Now these boys wrestled once before, early this season, with Magistrelli getting beat by Greenspan 13 to four, but they were wrestling at 197. Now they're down at 184. The Greenspan gets the escape to make it 2-1. There's awful big 184 pounders. It's interesting, Greenspan was a state champion his senior year at Shaker Heights, 1996. And what was something of an upset beating Kevin Boris in the state finals after having lost to him before? And again, Magistrelli in there. And again with two more points, and it's 4-1. Magistrelli's got a great level change there. Nice quick shot, kind of catching Greenspan off, off guard. We saw his brother Anthony at the Brexville tournament winning 160 pounds. And there's back point. He almost had a fall there. I was going to say, Frank Leno said a fall would be huge, and that was close. That's going to be worth it. He's still got the, the bar there, so he hasn't been awarded back points yet. I think we've seen that tilt there a little, little bit in uh, high school. Maple, old Maple Heights tilt. 7-1. And the first period's gonna end with a 7-1 lead for Magistrelli. Both boys up in the second. Quick shot by Magistrelli, countered by Greenspan. There's a takedown, and that makes it 7-3. It'll be interesting if he rides him to take a, a chunk of that riding time away or kick him out because he's behind, he's gotta make it up. Looks like he's going to spend some time on top. Coach Span and wrestler who always seemed to wrestle in spurts to me. Yeah, I think you're right. Personally, I think he should just cut him out. There he goes. That makes it eight to three right now. I don't know if it's me, but it looks like Magistrelli's tank is a little bit emptier than it. I think you're right. You can see his hands are are, are up on uh, Josh's shoulders. That therefore it's a little easier shot. This is still a tough takedown. No points yet. There it is, and that now makes it eight five. As Greenspan has really inaugurated a comeback here. And the escape with only 19 seconds to go. Kind of a surprise there. Yeah, I'm very surprised at that. Had he ridden him out, he would have just about prevented the one minute of extra riding time as well. Plus, he gave up a point with less than 20 seconds to go. Both boys have been warned for stalling. And the period ends 9-5, Magistrelli. Match of contrast here, a great first period for Magistrelli with two takedowns in that critical three-point near fall. Greenspan all over him in the second period with two, with two takedowns himself. And now he's riding him. Doesn't make sense, but Coach must have seen something. The pace of this match has been fast and furious. Both boys look just a little bit tired. It's gonna come down to a little bit of shape here. Hey, 
Magistrelli's shot is straight into the mat this time. Not as no depth to it. He's just kind of dropping. He does seem tired. 11-7 right now. Minute 17 to go. Both boys tired now, but I think Greenspan maybe is a little bit, a little bit the fresher of the two. He just can't convert his takedown. And Magistrelli hangs on. He builds up that huge first period lead of seven to one, and ends up stopping Greenspan's takedown to win 11 eight. And 197 pounds. 